Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Noxite and we're back in Kentucky Route Zero. Now, last episode, uh, we visited Eckes Oils. Yes, it was oils. I'm very sorry about my pronunciations last round, uh, last episode, sorry. I guess it was a bit of a derp fest, I guess. Uh, I was kind of talking over the part where it actually tells me in plain text. Um, so, Kentucky Route Zero. It's a five-part game. Kind of, it's done in acts, I guess, and we're still on act one, still on scene one, I believe, and we're about to visit the Marker's farmhouse. Now, the story so far is that my man is called Conway, and Conway is delivering a package to Dogwood, Five Dogwood Drive. I stopped by Eckes Oils down here uh, to ask him for directions to Dogwood Drive, and he said that um, it, I have to take the Route Zero, which is some unknown highway that we're about to find out things about, because he's led me to his, it could be his sister, his wife, his cousin, I'm not entirely sure yet, um, but apparently she knows the directions to uh, the, the Road Zero, and her house is right next to the burning tree which we visited last time. So let's enter Marquez farmhouse uh, with the old TV that Joseph gave me because we're going to give it to Marquez. Um, yes. So, entry. Okay, we're on scene two, so that was very quick. I wonder how many scenes there are in total per act. Um, so here we are. Now, remember, we have a dog uh, with a straw hat, and we love to talk to our dog, so let's talk. Conway rubs the dog's belly. Pretty dark out here, huh? Hope I can borrow you a treat up there. And on goes Conway. It's a very poetic game. A street lamp lights the base of a dusty path leading up the hill. Well, let's walk up that hill. It's pretty dark. And as we walk up the hill, a light fades in to show us the farmhouse. Beautifully done. Graveyard, huh? A family graveyard is set off to the side of the house. Headstones are inscribed with the surnames of the unfortunate. Nawakowski, Padilla, and Marquez. Ah, uh, oh dear. But that could be... That could just be a relative. Let's hope Marquez isn't dead, right? That'd be freaky. Actually, what's over here? Some old truck. Let's ignore it. Let's go straight to the house. And in we go. Light switch. We walk into the house, and we turn on the light, and there stands a woman. Weaver. I was just thinking what a lovely house we have. Do you like it? Have you been here before? Did you happen to see an owl? No, I have never been here before. I know. It must be very strange to you. I was here when this house was built. So it's never been strange to me. There used to be another house here. But we've had it destroyed. And we built this one. It was very expensive and we got quite underwater. What do you do for work? Is it too difficult or do you like it very much? I was once a mathematician. Are you looking for something in particular here? This woman's very strange. I'm not sure why she's talking to me like that. I'm looking for the zero. Oh, you're lost. And that old blind man sent you. Is that right? Of course he did. He's nice. Did he say anything about me? Did he send along a gift? So Joseph with a, was a blind man. Explains the saying of breathe the road. As that is really the only thing he can do. He asked me to return this TV set of yours. Oh, will you please set it up? Then I can explain to, to how you can get where you're going. The zero. I know. Alright, well. 
set it up. What is going on? That's not how it's supposed to look. You've made a mistake setting it up. Is it a foreign object to you? Which of your parents was it who wouldn't allow you to watch television? <sighs> hey, I know how to set up a TV. Okay, I'm just skeptical. You have it all backwards, I'm not surprised, are you? Have you been paying attention? I don't think you have. It's time to start paying attention now, Conway. Look closely at the television. This is like a very dreamlike sequence. Let's look closer. What's going on? Hey! Hey, wake up! You spaced out for a minute there. picture on the TV. That TV is picking up the wrong signal. My cousin Shannon would know more about it. She fixes TVs for a living. Well, she used to. I think the new models are giving her some trouble. So, I really just need to get to the zero. Honestly, I'm not convinced you should bother with the zero. I'd much rather you find my cousin and fix my TV, but I'll get you headed the right way. So it's pretty easy. Get back on 65, heading north, then take the first right after the artificial limb factory. From there, your arrival at the zero is basically inevitable. Nice to know you, Conway. Keep your eyes open, especially in the dark. And she's gone. Wow. What on earth just happened? <laughs> Holy crap. A disused word wood burning stove is set up in one ash dusted corner of the room. It's cold to the touch. Hey a second, there was a car here. She took the car and escaped. Damn it. An abandoned spider web stretches across the bottom of a saucepan. A skill set, skillet, sorry. A skillet is seasoned with dust. Well, looks like there's nothing else in this house, so we better leave. I wonder what I'm doing. I really do. Well, at least the broken truck is still here. To the truck. Hey, who left the radio on? There's a band in the background. I just met the strangest lady. She kind of creeped me out, buddy. Just had a Weird energy. These lyrics. Those lyrics meant something. Wow, that was spacey.
Okay, so she wants me to go to Kentucky Route Zero on ramp. Get back on 65 heading north, then take the first right after the artificial limb factory. Back to game. Heading north. Oh, what's that? L and N Turnpike Road. It's a factory. A creek runs alongside the highway and then turns towards a dusty, dirty brick building. A grinding drone from within the building is faintly audible from the interstate. Floodlights on the lawn illuminate smokestacks. At the edge of the building's parking lot, a large sign, partly obscured by trees, reads Amer. Amer. Artificial Limb Factory. Obviously, it's scratched out somewhat. Turn right, and there we are, the on ramp. Act 1, Scene 3 Elkhorn Valley. Conway brushes some dirt off the dog's hat. How's it going, old man? Hey, you got something on your hat. Did you pick that up on the road? Don't you ever get tired of nosing around strange places? I love my dog. He's so cute. There's nothing else, it seems, so... Let's go strafe the entrance. And there's a lady. Shannon speaks into the large brick cell phone held up to the ear. It's $200 for two weeks. Because that's how phones sound. I guess he can't kick me out for another week or two. Yes, I, I appreciate that, but... Okay, I'll talk you to you tomorrow. Love you. Hangs up the phone and puts it away. And here approaches Conway. So this must be Shannon, the person who fixed his TVs. Excuse me, ma'am. I saw the light was on and I'm looking for the on-ramp to... Are you here to kick me off the property? Oh... No, no, I, I, I guess you don't belong here either, do you? Are you just out wondering? Huh, well, I do drive a lot. Just me in the road mostly when the sun's out. You sound lonely. Nah, I get by. Here's what it is. I drive deliveries for a shop called Lysette's Antiques, and I'm out trying to finish this job. What kind of stuff are you hauling? Antiques, good stuff. Lysette has a sharp eye for the little good it's done her lately, you know. It's just our the one recession after another. Everybody's selling their old stuff cheap, but nobody's really buying. I have a delivery for Vive Dogwood Drive, and I can't remember ever seeing that address before. Now I heard I need to take a highway called the Zero. So I met this young lady, name of Weaver Marquez, and she sent me this way. And so here I am. Uncommon kind of place for an on-ramp, but that's what it's been like so far anyway with... What? The Zero, is that around here? I've never heard of the goddamn damn Zero. That doesn't sound like a real highway, but I know Weaver. I've known her all of my life. She was... She's my cousin. I'm Shannon Marquez. Weaver doesn't lie. One time we were younger, she told me my dad had been in a terrible car wreck. There was crushed metal everywhere, and we'd be hearing an echo through the house for years. She said, I was very upset crying, and then my dad walked in on the door. Just come back from a trip to the junkyard collecting scrap metal to fashion into wind chimes. I was angry, but she said it wasn't a joke, and it wasn't a lie. At the time, I th thought she meant it was a riddle or a puzzle, but Weaver's not a puzzle. She's more of a mystery. So maybe the Zero is down here somewhere. Maybe it is. Well, I don't mind the company. I've got business down here myself. I talked to Weaver earlier this evening too, or 
Anyway, she talked to me. It's hard to tell if she's listening sometimes. River told me I had to come down here to the old Elkhorn mine. She said I'd find something I've been looking for. What are you looking for? I'm not exactly sure. I have a few ideas I'll know when I see it, though. It's not such a bad thing, you showing up now. All told, I'd rather not go down there alone. Your dog should stay up here, though. It's no place for a dog. This is an old mine. It runs pretty deep and tangled. If we're gonna go down into it, find your on-ramp and whatever else, we've gotta keep our bearings. I don't wanna get turned around. I've got some gear here to measure contact conductivity, frequency response, stuff like that. Maybe we can find a way to signal out ahead. Do some analysis and figure out what kind of topology we're up against. Sure. Let's look around. Alright. Well, I think that's enough for episode 2. Um, thank you for watching, and we'll carry on this Let's Play next time. It seems things are sort of starting to pick up, in a way. I'm intrigued to see what happens next. Anyway, make sure to stick by for next time. Uh, like, comment, because I do read all the comments, and I really appreciate when you comment, because that's, that's really why I make these videos. Because I like what people think. And uh, subscribe if you haven't, if you're really enjoying this series. Thank you very much, guys, and uh, I'll see you all next time.